This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue with the transfer of training with Book 3. In Chapter 2, this is Section 8, Questioning the Reality of Debt and Reciprocity. David The decision to get out of debt in a worldly sense is a decision within the unholy instant. You have to really take a look at the concept of debt and to begin to come into the mystical state of seeing how the whole idea of debt is really just as funny as the idea of worldly justice. First you believe that there is fairness and justice in the world. But when you get deeper into the course, you start to question the concept of fairness and justice. You start out that way with debt as well, and then you go deeper, you begin to see it as a kind of, see it as kind of funny. You have to believe in the laws of economics before you can believe in debt. You have to believe in exchange and reciprocity before you can believe in debt. It would make no sense to talk about debt without a belief in the laws of economics and the laws of reciprocity and exchange. Seeming to pay off your debts in form is just the beginning, a stepping stone. You have to question the laws of economics and the laws of reciprocity and exchange. Getting the debts paid off is on the surface. But then you have to do the real work. You have to question the reality of (laughs) debt. As you question the reality of debts and reciprocity, I guarantee that you will come back to looking at personhood. You know that you are going to come back around to that again because there certainly are not any debts or reciprocity in heaven. There are not even any debts and reciprocity in the real world and you have to go through the real world to get to heaven. It seems simple. It seems like we are talking about the same things, just coming at them from all these different angles. That is the way the process seems to go until you can make the leap. The paying off of debts and the parting of ways that seems to take place in relationships of this world are just symbolic representations on the screen of the mind going back and retracing its steps. All the false beliefs that the mind has made are outpictured in the seeming experiences of being a person in the world, with debts and obligations, responsibilities and duties. That is how it looks out there on the screen. As you start to retrace these decisions, it may seem like the screen changes. Things may seem to be getting more simple in your life. But really, those are all still interpretations that are being made on the screen. One could say, I am completely free. I have nobody counting on me anymore in relationships. I have no more bills to pay. I have cleaned up my act. And where are you? Have you reached an enlightened state? If you have not come to understand that cause and effect are simultaneous, that there is no sequential time and that there is not any sequencing of events? If you still have judgments and you think you have given up all these things, then where are you? You are still nowhere. You are still having the illusion of being in the world. When we say to take care of business and clear up your debts on the screen, it is just symbolic of loosening 
Friend. Of pulling back? David. Pulling back your mind. Pulling back in your mind. You want to retrace the steps that you seem to have taken. The steps that seem to have you thinking you are a body in the world. And if the retracing seems painful at times, do not be fooled by that voice. Jesus talks about the uneasiness that may seem to be part of the process in the self-concept versus self section. A concept of the self is meaningless, for no one here can see what it is for and therefore cannot picture what it is. Yet is all the learning that the world directs begun and ended with the single aim of teaching you this concept of yourself, that you will choose to follow this world's laws and never seek to go beyond its roads, nor realize the way you see yourself. Text chapter 31, section 5 We need the Holy Spirit. Now must the Holy Spirit find a way to help you see this concept of the self must be undone, if any peace of mind is to be given you. Nor can it be unlearned except by lessons aimed to teach that you are something else. For otherwise you would be asked to make exchange of what you now believe for total loss of self, and greater terror would arise in you. Thus are the Holy Spirit's lesson plans arranged in easy steps. That though there be some lack of ease at times and some distress, there is no shattering of what is learned, but just a retranslation of what seems to be the evidence on its behalf. Text chapter 31, section 5 As long as the mind believes in separation, it will see evidence of separation. The world you see is what needs to be retranslated. But just a retranslation of what seems to be the evidence on its behalf. The only way out of this seemingly terrifying situation is to re-perceive the world or have the perception of the world retranslated so that mind no longer looks for witnesses of pain suffering and hurt, but rather looks for other witnesses because it holds on to another purpose. Though it may not be comfortable, there is no shattering of what was learned, but just a retranslation. Resistance is just the ego's idea of progress. When you seem to have difficulty with some of these ideas, it is just the ego's interpretation Progress and growth, so to speak, are happening. The movement is taking place. The movement of the kingdom, the movement of Christ. Do not be alarmed. You are right on schedule. You are right where you need to be. Do not get hung up on the ego's interpretation of events. Friend, I am right where I need to be.